we saw a little bit of video when Eric was kind of breaking it to you. Um, how does it feel when you kind of get that honor of knowing that you're among the best of your at your position in the NFL? Yeah, um, you know, it feels good. I mean, especially you know, year two. Um, you know, it's not really an accolade I, I try to play for. Accolades aren't something I try to play for. Um, but I think it, it's it, it happens when the team's playing well. You know, you're going to get more guys that you know get recognized. Um, you know, I said in an interview yesterday. You know, I think a lot of credit goes to my teammates as well too. You know, the guys I play next to, um, making my job a little bit easier. Um, you know, and then you know the coaching staff and, and stuff like that. But you know, it was a, it was a good feeling. You know, I mean, it wasn't a good feeling initially when I got. I said someone said I had to go up and talk to EDC, but. Um, <laughs> Because, you know, you never know. But, um, no, it was good when he told me, you know, the cameras were in there, and it was a pretty cool experience. What was your first thought that you were being called up? <laughs> Shoot, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what we are going to talk about, but you never know. To have the two first-round picks a year ago, both being the Pro Bowl, um, you, you share that with Kyle. What does that mean to you? Yeah, just, you know, we continue to work, continue to push each other. You know, guys on this team, there's a lot of good good men that are deserving of being pro bowlers. Um, you know, I think there's a lot of talented guys on this team, um, you know, especially Kyle. Kyle can do a lot of different things. You know, you guys see it on the field, you know, in, this, in the locker room, he's a great guy too. So um, happy for him and, and proud of him, you know, but, you know, I think a lot of guys can agree, you know, we still got another goal that we're chasing, so. Um, not to minimize your talent and, and your work ethic to get to this position, but is there anything that the Ravens did um, or about the, the, the way things work here that you think has kind of helped maximize your ability in your first two years of your career? Yeah, like I said, you know, we got a lot of good players on this team. You know, a lot of guys around me that are really good, really talented players. So anytime you're surrounding yourself by elite talent, you know, it's going to make you better. And I think it's definitely done that, you know, the first two years. Just continue to get better, learn from each other, I think is the biggest thing. Um, has it been a rotating offensive line? Has it been a challenge for you with different guys in and out? No, I think it, you know I think it's been good for us. Um, you know, keeping guys fresh. Uh, you know, you know we've been dealing with some injuries, and we want guys to be fresh in the fourth quarter. I think you know we've we've shown that, um, and guys are continuing to get healthier and stronger. Um, and we got a lot of guys on the line that can play good football. So whoever's in there, you know, we got 100% trust and confidence in them that they'll get the job done. Fine, coming out of college, you, you had your critics and talk about how small you were, and now you're a pro bowler. Yeah, you're always gonna have critics. You know, I still there's still critics, no matter what. Even if you make the Pro Bowl, um, you know, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you know, the Pittsburgh Steelers aren't gonna care on Saturday if I'm a Pro Bowler or not. I'm still gonna have to go out there and play. Um, so, you know, just enjoy it for whenever they said, you know, I made the Pro, but I got to move ahead and you know, focus on this upcoming game and then into the playoff push because we're all chasing a goal, you know, that, that is bigger than Pro Bowls. You know, the guys around you contribute to, to that, to, to your ability that you have and the things you accomplish. Just curious as a, as a unit, what has made you guys so good? You know, we saw it in San Francisco, we've even seen it in other games. Um, is it continuity? I don't see the talent's there, but is it, is it communication? recognition what, what stood out among the group yeah uh you know i think one whenever you got a bunch of talented guys you got to play together and i think you know we've continued to get better and better no matter who's in there just you know all five playing together and you know it, it doesn't do you any good if if four guys are playing playing well together and then one guy isn't you know you gotta that's the unique thing about the position is is the continuity like you said um, that needs to happen in order to be successful as a unit um, and just continue to make strides and strides to be better. And, you know, you want to be playing your best football towards, you know, December and January. Um, you know, I think I think we're trying our hardest to get to that point. Have you, have you thought ahead to sort of how to make best use of that extra week that you guys did there? No, I haven't thought about it once. You know, we're, <laughs> You know, Steelers got our got our number the last game, and I think you know our goal is to go out here and, and win Saturday. So that's all our focus is at right now. You bring it up, obviously. I mean, a really kind of bitter finish to that game. Um, does that? I know it, you want to win every game every week, but does that add some 
spice your motivation for you guys in the locker room this week? Yeah, I mean, for sure. You know, this is the AFC North. You know, it's a, it's a tough conference, um, competitive conference, and anytime you're playing an AFC North team, you want to win. Did your little brother know we're proud of your football? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Are you? Are you proud? <laughs>